All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. All right, you guys. So the haters are loose. Um, and it's absolutely disgusting. Now, for you guys who don't know what's going on with Ice Cube, Cube recently came out and put an offer on the table. Uh, Ice Cube, who leads the Big Three League. Uh, we all know Ice Cube uh, back from his NWA days. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Movies, everything that you could ask for, this dude has delivered big time. Uh, he tried to do a league uh, with the Big Three to help, uh, you know, cats that were older, just trying to play, trying to stay in the game. He tried to do something to help these people have a league. You know what I'm saying? He tried to expand the league and have women in the league in coaching position. And he's trying to do it in playing position. But as you guys know, that with a desire to be successful comes a plethora of hate, envy, envy, and just outright foolishness. Um, to let you guys know what's going on, you got fool number one right here on the right-hand side of your screen. Now, Ice Cube was trying to do the best he can do for the Big Three League. None of the guys really wanted to try that were superstars to support him. And I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I'm gonna tell y'all something, right? Be honest with y'all. So this 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 dude on the right hand side of your screen, the leader of the foolishness, the leader of the foolishness, right? So Mr. Hundred Million Dollar Man, right? He won't run his mouth. Disrespect what Ice Cube's trying to do. So Cube came and did something nobody else has done. Ice Cube came and said, I'm going to offer Caitlin Clark $5 million, right? I'm going to offer $5 million to come play with us next season, right? And all these people came out hating and doubting and just talking down on the man, right? Right? But it had to be one dude who can't keep himself straight, Mr. $100 million man, Draymond Green. He want to come out trying to tear the brother down. So Draymond Green says, five million ain't enough. Draymond Green played a Hayden, right? On Ice Cube, along with others, Hayden, just hate oozing out your core of your pore of your veins. Five million ain't enough, Ice Cube say. And he cautions Caitlin Clark against taking Ice Cube's offer, even though all these women have been screaming and hollering to the high heavens about we ain't getting paid enough money. And I did the research. As of the start of the 2023 season, the league average salary to WNBA was $113,295. That's the average salary in the WNBA. Ice Cube have offered this woman $5 million. But Mr. Shuck and Jab himself, Mr. $100 million man, who made $200 million paydays, throwing his teammates under the bus, punching his teammates down, verbally berating his teammates, 
and harassing everybody else in the league who don't get the benefit of playing by the same rules. No, Mr. $100 million man, he want to come hate on Ice Cube along with a few others and say, nah, don't take that deal. Don't take that deal. That ain't enough. Draymond says in a recent episode of his raggedy ass podcast, the Draymond Green show, he said, while talking about the Ice Cube's offer, he said, I don't think it quite makes sense right now. Unless you make that a financial thing where she can make a bunch of money, but $5 million, unfortunately, is just not enough. The hell is you talking about? All of these women have been sitting out here crying about not getting paid enough money. Ice Cube come and say, look, I'm going to give you $5 million to come play with us next year. All you got to do, what is it, 10 games? And you have buffoons like this that will come out against a brother, trying to destroy a brother. You understand what I'm saying? Trying to destroy Ice Cube, right? Trying to destroy Ice Cube, right? This is what's going on now. This type of foolishness y'all got going on. So he going to tell the girl, nah, I don't take that money. So what's she supposed to do, Draymond? Go to the WNBA and hopefully get a million-dollar contract? When Ice Cube, only thing Ice Cube did was raise the bar, Right? And look at this clown in here. Oh, she's worth $50 million. You think she's going to get that in the WNBA? What WNBA player do you know has gotten anywhere near 2 or $3 million? Cinny? None. So sit down and be quiet. And you're wrong. Time out for you. Sit in time out, brother. Sit in time out. Sit in time out. And if you ask me why, I'm going to tell you why. Well, I ain't going to tell you. You figure it out. Right? So you got a league full of ladies that's complaining about the salary. And Lexi, I seen you up there talking over there on the Guild Show too, running your mouth, talking down on the offer. Are you out of your mind? So if Ice Cube offered you $5 million, Lexi, to play in the season, you'll turn it down? Stop lying. All y'all sit up there and complain about you all salary. Kyrie Irving came to y'all's aid a couple of years ago. It was making sure girls was getting paid during the pandemic so they wouldn't go without a check. You know what y'all did? I seen a couple of y'all lead girls on ESPN turning down and talking down on this, bro. That's what I seen. The first time y'all got a chance, y'all turned y'all back on Kyrie and talked about him like a dog. That's what you did. That's what you did. That's what you did. Right? But you got clowns like Draymond Green, who's stolen more money than any player in NBA history. Right? Gonna tell this lady. He's some financial advisor now. He gonna tell this girl, trying to destroy this brother right here, right? Trying to do something great. That's all he's trying to do. He's trying to do something great. He, off, he came in, ain't nobody else offered this girl $5 million. Ice Cube come in and offer $5 million off the jump. And Draymond Green talking about something. It's not enough. What? And ain't nobody saying nothing except for me? This don't make no sense. So let me make it make sense. These ladies have all been complaining about getting underpaid. Ice Cube come in and say, look, I'll pay you $5 million to play with us next season. And we got the money for you. Because we got the sponsors who are willing to pay the brand for you because you're worth it. And Draymond Green's going to tell her, no, nah, it ain't enough. So, Draymond, are you going to tell the WNBA when she tries to go in the draft that's coming up here and don't get paid nothing near $5 million? Are you going to tell the WNBA that that's not enough? Draymond, why don't you come out your little salary you know, that $100 million you stole from the team riding Steph Curry's jock. Right? Mr. Backpack jump shot. Fake run around here crying to KD. Then cuss him out and run him off the team. Mr. Fake leader punching out your own teammates. Why don't you pay it out your, your salary? You ain't lying, show. We're we our worst enemy, bro. We're our worst enemy, bro. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. No, I haven't seen nobody else from overseas, 
No other league. I've never heard of no woman making $5 million in no season. Never. Not overseas, not WNBA. I've never heard of it. Q come and put them on. Ain't nobody else putting the offer on the table. So, but now they're trying to destroy Ice Cube. You got dudes like you got clowns like Draymond Green, who can't even respect his own teammates. You can't even respect your own teammates, man. Herm, what up, dog? You can't even respect your own teammates. But you gonna come out here talking about five million ain't enough, and you cautioning her against taking the bro? This is why we can't get nowhere. Y'all wonder why? Cause you got dudes like Draymond Green running amok. I don't think it quite makes sense right now. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Uh, let me see something. The average salary as of 2023 for a WNBA player is $113,295,000. Ice Cube offered this girl $5 million. Right? He offered this girl $5 million. That's without endorsements. Right? But you're sitting up here talking about, you don't think it makes sense when all these women have been coming out here crying about money and crying about salary. And y'all, y'all track, y'all tear down y'all home. This is what they're doing. They coming out the queue, turn them down. So it wasn't just him. It was a few other cats too. Hey, you know, Ice Cube, man. Not saying, not saying, hey, man, I see you trying to go through it, brother. You really trying to get it done. Let's go do it. Shout out to Jalen Brown. Say whatever you want to say about Jalen Brown. They, everybody dogged the slam dunk contest this year in the NBA. Guess what Jalen Brown did? He said, hey, I'm a big name or I'm a bigger name in the NBA. I'm going to try to get in there. You know what they did? They clowned him. Even though they wanted all the big dogs to get in, they clowned him. Guess what? He still got in there. And guess what he did? He's the same thing for Ice Cube. He went and did Cube's event at the Big Three as a Boston Celtic. You know why? Because he's trying to show a brother love, not tear a brother down like y'all doing. Right? Y'all see a brother trying to do something right. But instead of trying to help the brother, you got $100 million man who made $200 million knocking his teammates out, running his teammates out of the city, kicking every dude in areas that the sun don't shine, doing everything in the name of the devil. And it's just sad, bro. Because it wasn't in the name of good anything he did. Choking dudes. Stomping on dudes' chest. This dude should be out of the NBA. But he got a mouth to come up here and try to tear down Ice Cube for offering a girl something nobody else has offered her. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. And yeah, tear the brother down. Then I seen the girl Lexi, WNBA player Lexi. I seen you, beautiful girl. But you sitting up there hating on the. Oh, I don't know about that. What are you talking about? Stop acting so bougie. Stop acting so bougie. Y'all can't say one thing. And then when somebody actually tries to give y'all the bag. You say you do something else. You cry about it and make excuses. Nobody want to hear that. Don't nobody want to hear that. Y'all trying to take your own brother down. They trying to tear Cube down, bro. It's crazy. This type of stuff that's going on. Again, nobody. Listen, this is the funny part. You haven't heard anybody offer that girl nothing. Ice Cube came out off the jump, offered her $5 million. Bro, go look at the highest payday in WNBA history. It's like a little over a million dollars. This man offered him $5 million. $5 million. And before they could even have a meeting, all these dudes telling her, nah, don't take it, it ain't a good idea. Are you crazy? Only a fool wouldn't want, wouldn't want to go sit down and see what he's talking about. That is sad, bro. That is sad. That is sad.
that this is what we do. This is the foolishness and the buffoonery that we do to each other. I'm sad because of this. I'm sad. It bothers me because this man ain't did nothing but try to do something to help. And he gets he gets destroyed by his own people. By a dude looking like this. Look, look at this dude right here, man. He can't this dude can't even keep why would you take any kind of advice from somebody that looked like that? Make it make sense. This dude don't have no self-responsibility. He shouldn't be giving advice to nobody. Draymond Green should never be giving any advice. To anybody. He can't even keep himself in order. How in the hell are you going to give advice to somebody? And you can't even keep yourself in check. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. I can't never respect no dude like this, bro. And I mean every word I say about him. I have zero level of respect for Draymond Green. None. And what he did and what these other people are trying to do to Ice Cube, which is tear the man down when he's trying to do something and build something. Y'all sad, man. Y'all sad. But guess what, Draymond? I know, I know one thing, Draymond. I know one thing, Draymond Green, if this is your little boy, LeBron James, I guarantee you wouldn't have said that. If this was LeBron James running the league, I guarantee you, you would not have said that, right? But you guys expose yourselves every day. But you got the nerve to be giving somebody advice and you can't even advise yourself to keep your hands off your own teammates, man. The hell wrong with you? And everybody should get on Draymond about this, bro. And anybody else hating on Ice Cube for doing something that ain't nobody else doing. If Ice Cube just did anything, he helped the girl out by raising the bar. Right? For everybody else. But this is the type of stuff that y'all got going on. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Can't even keep his emotions in check. Look at him. Just look at him. Stole over $200 million from the NBA. Punching his teammates out. Berating his teammates. Cutting his teammates out like KD and them. Don't make any sense. Right? But a dude like Ice Cube that ain't bothered nobody. And is trying to do something. Even if it's not perfect, he's trying to do something right. Here you have world-class dudes like this. World-class hating. Complete and utter disgrace. And Draymond Green will forever and shall forever be placed in a hall of shame for telling this lady that this is bad business and don't make sense that he offered her five million. He says, unfortunately, he says five million, unfortunately, is just not enough. When in the WNBA, the ladies have been complaining for years for the salary. So Ice Cube answers that. But I know what it is, Raymond. See, it wasn't Joe King. It wasn't Yo King. We all know who your king, we, it wasn't your king who made the offer. Right, Draymond? If anybody didn't know who Draymond's king is, if it wasn't for your king, if your king made the offer, you would have never said this stuff. You would have said, oh, this is a great thing. 
It's the greatest thing ever. That's why he the GOAT. I mean, hey, man, he better than Steph. That's why. I mean, if we was in the finals in game seven, I wouldn't even play. I just, I wouldn't even play. I'd do something dumb, get suspended again, so the GOAT can win another championship. Right? 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 It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting, bro. It's the truth what I'm telling y'all, though. Everything I'm saying to y'all is the truth. Draymond Green is the worst person I've ever seen. I have zero respect for the bro. None. I never will respect this dude, bro. If it was your king, Draymond, you would not have said anything negative. If it was LeBron that offered her all that money. But since it was Ice Cube, you're going to tell her that $5 million just ain't enough. Even though nobody else has offered her anywhere near that. You guys, this is the type of shucking and jiving that y'all got going on in the community, man. So they're coming out the Ice Cube. It ain't just Draymond. It's a few other people hating on Ice Cube. Right? He's trying to get more eyes on the big three. Right? So you know when you have players who have a lot of hype behind them, you can generate a lot of money if you can get them. Makes sense. But you have dudes, oh, where's the money at? Uh, I don't know where the money's at. Where's the money? Uh, I asked the sponsors. See, here's the thing. The sponsors didn't want to give money for you because you ain't moving no units. But maybe the new wave is. So they want to spend money for them. So why are you going to get mad at IQ? Make it make sense. And see, I'm going to tell you all something, right? How much y'all want to bet her average salary in the WNBA ain't going to be over $5 million? And I'm going to come back, and I'm going to tell Draymond Green, I'm going to call him out when her league salary, we're going to see what she make her first year. Right? She's making more in college than she's going to make in the WNBA. Off the NIL deal. If she got one, I think she got one. Right? Guys, let me know what y'all think, man. Dude's sad, bro. It's sad, man. I'm not hating on that man like that, bro. This is haters, bro. This is disgusting, bro. This is outright. This is just, man, bro. This is next level. You're going to tell a girl turn down $5 million for 10 games. Are you serious? When she's fit to play a whole WNBA season, and probably make half a million dollars at max. But Draymond, did you tell the Golden State Warriors that it wasn't a good idea to pay you before they gave you those $200 million contracts? Backpack, jump shot? Hmm? Because a lot of Golden State Warrior fans agree with me now. They don't think it made sense when the Golden State Warriors gave you $200 million contracts, playboy. Right? So you just worry about continuing to follow your king and being a double agent, going against Steph Curry and the rest of your teammates. Right? Because I forgot, you are a clutch client, right? Like, share, subscribe, man. This is how the dudes out here trying to tear down Ice Cube. You gonna tell a girl don't don't accept his offer like somebody else put a better offer on the table. And guess what? You can sit up here and try and say, oh, Cube ain't got the money. Call his bluff. And, and Cube, you see this video, man? Cube, you got the invitation to come up here, man. Hey, Cube, if you see this video, Cube, hit me on my gram, bro. I do a live interview with you, man. 
And we'll cook this bum three the hard way together, bro. Real talk, man. Just holler at me. All you gotta do is hit me on my gram, man. Straight up, man. Hit me on my inbox, dog. You see this? You see this? You see this video? Your people see this video, Cube? I'm riding with you, man. Ten toes down, man. The hell with this clown. Subscribe to the podcast show, man. Link in the uh, pen at the top of the comments, man. I'm gone, man.